Hi, it's October 28th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk about week nine of the NFL, but before we do, let's go over week eight briefly. I was two and three. I had Seattle getting three points at home against the Buffalo Bills. The Bills flew across the country and then they kicked some booty. I had Green Bay laying four and a half over Jacksonville. Uh, Green Bay did not cover and that's what matters, right? I had the Raiders getting nine and a half points over Kansas City. The Raiders delivered. Understand, this is a very tough intra-divisional matchup. Uh, the teams play each other tough, have historically. Antonio Pierce actually has a victory over Andy Reid in the past. Um, I had the Minnesota Vikings laying three points against the Rams. Let's just say Puka <laughs> played. Uh, Cooper Cup played. Minnesota did not cover, did not win the game. Finally, I had the Atlanta Falcons laying two and a half over Tampa Bay. Atlanta delivered. Right, so two and three week, that's not good enough. That's below 500. Let's get after it here in week nine. These are very early bets. The Monday night football game has not yet been played. Right, my philosophy is if you see a line that you like, grab it. If it moves away from you, okay, great. You know, then if you want to up the bet, you can grab it at the enhanced odds. If it moves toward you, even better. You've gotten a bargain. I like the Bears. Getting a point, this is early in the week. I don't know what it's going to be like at the end of the week, but I like the Bears getting a point against the Arizona Cardinals. Right? That game is in Arizona. The Bears, of course, are going to have to get over a disastrous last play against the Washington Commanders. The Houston and Jet game. I like the under 42 and a half. Both of these teams have above average defenses. Both of these teams are struggling offensively. The Chargers against the Cleveland Browns who now have Jameis Winston as their quarterback. I like the under 42, right? The Chargers are one of the big stories of the year. Their defense, folks, is excellent. Unfortunately, their offense is not. With regard to Cleveland, Cleveland's defense is better than its offense. I'm guessing the defense is going to be inspired now that Deshaun Watson is no longer the quarterback. Finally, I like the Denver Broncos getting nine points over the Ravens. Who would have thought after last year that at this point this year, Denver would have the better defense? They do. Right? I'll agree Denver is offensively challenged. You have an offensively blessed Raven team running into a tough defense. You have a <clears throat> offensively challenged Bronco team. They're improving, but they're still offensively challenged with a rookie quarterback running into a disappointing defense. Right? I think nine is a bit too much. By the way, Sean Payton, for those keeping track, he should be one of the top line candidates this year for Coach of the Year. We'll see how the second half unfolds. Anyway, those are the bets I like to repeat. Bears plus one. I like the under in the Houston Jet game. I like the under in the Charger Cleveland game. The under in the Jet game right now is 42 and a half. The under in the Charger game is 42. I like the Broncos getting nine points over Baltimore. Those are my picks for week nine. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.